How you doing, Howard Lena Nation? It's Keon Terrera. I'm joined by head coach John Estelle. How you doing, coach? Doing great. Thanks for having us on. Yes, sir. Coach, you're looking to match the longest winning streak of the season right now. You won the last three. What has really been the key factor late in the first half of the season to really get you guys going? Well, I think number one, we've gotten healthy. Uh, you know, we've had some guys that had some nagging injuries, like every team. Uh, but we finally have gotten healthy. I think uh, guys are really getting acclimated and comfortable uh, with the travel of the conference because, you know, in the first half of the year, we didn't travel very far. So, you know, we've gotten a couple of road trips on our belt. Uh, we have been successful in those, but I think we've got a little something to guide and take us forward moving into going to Angelo in terms of how we're going to travel and, and then how it affects our bodies and how we got to get more rest and things like that. So it's not excuses. There are reasons why. And this is a young group of guys, you know, for the most part that hadn't been through that part of the season uh, yet, which is the long trips and conference. So um, I think we're coming around. We're getting healthy. Um, guys are playing really confident. We're shooting the ball better. Um, and it's, it's, it's really fun right now. So you talk about the road you know you're looking for your first road conference win of the season but you're playing against the Angelo State team a high-powered offensive Angelo State team who you just forced 26 turnovers that's the season high and you held them to 53 points what do you guys have to do to build off of that and get the win on their home floor Man, that's a good question you know uh, you know I thought it was kind of a perfect storm situation for us uh, you know, we've been known to be a pretty good defensive team all year long. Um, and But I thought we really showed a lot of passion in Garden. I think it was a team effort. I'm always talking about team. You know, it's, defense always is a team. If you, It's never one good defensive player makes a good defensive team. So it was a group of guys. We played 12 guys. All of them contributed. Uh, they was locked into the scouting report. I, you know, practices leading up to the game were pretty good in terms of preparation. So, you know, and I just kind of funny you asked that question. I just asked them in the locker room watching film, how did y'all feel going into the game? And a lot of them were saying, Coach, we just felt comfortable. You know, in terms of comfortable, meaning that we felt like we was prepared and it wasn't nothing that was going to basically happen that would have threw our confidence level off. So it's that time of year. You got to have guys playing more confident now, uh, not necessarily fretful or scared or intimidated. Everybody's got to believe in what you're doing, and I think that's what we got. We got a bunch of guys that believe right now. All right, well, Coach, good luck this weekend. All right, Hog fans, now I'm here with Justin Jones. And, Justin, you've been really coming along lately. You've really been scoring well off the bench, 12 consecutive games with a three-pointer. What do you think that your role is on the team? Uh, I just think that my role is to really come in and back up DeWan with all the energy he brings in the starting group and just to knock out open shots and to play good defense to, to help my team win. So when talking about helping your team win, what do you think the team as a whole have to do to get this back-to-back -back upset against Angelo State, but this time being on their home floor? Honestly, I think we just really have to play the same, just with more intensity, because we'll be, you know, at their place, and it'll be a little bit harder. But I think if we just do the same things, be aggressive on offense, and play good defense, we'll, we should get the win again. Now, basketball aside, unless this does translate to basketball for you, in life, in general, what do you think motivates you? Uh, what motivates me is like my family, and um, just. I just love the game. I've been playing it since I was about five years old. So it's just the love of the game and just family and God. All right, thanks for your time. Good luck this weekend. So now we got Big E, Elliot Taylor with us today. And you know, Elliot, just real quick before you get out on the floor, I just want to talk to you about a couple of things. You got two double-doubles this year. Your team is on the up and up, winning three straight, looking to match the, uh, the season long win streak. How you, have you been feeling about the team's play and your play individually? Uh, my play is based off the team's play. I feel like we play together great as a unit. We have some, one of the best chemistries in the league. I feel like no team can play with us when we're when we're playing together and we're playing tough and playing strong. So I like the momentum we've got going into the second round of conference, and I hope we continue on this great winning streak. Now, when talking about this second round of the conference, what do you guys need to do to pull it together and up in your seed for the Allen Tournament? Sustain. Sustain what we've got right now. Right now, I think we're at a place where we know who we are. We know what it takes to win. And if we sustain that and continue with that mindset and continue to play with the effort and toughness that we play with, nobody can beat us. All right. Thanks for the time, E.
Now, not only are the Hogs looking to match their longest winning streak of the season, but they're also looking to sweep Angelo State in a season series for the first time since the 2011 and 12 season. Tip off is going to be Saturday in the Janelle Center at 4 p.m. in San Angelo, Texas. Let's go, Hogs.